I looked around and I thought the perfect railroad for us is Burlington Northern. Both Western railroads, they're Northern tier, we're Southern tier. They have all this uh, grain and coal business. We have this premier franchise, intermodal, in, in, intermodal franchise in, in, in the United States. And uh, there's not a lot of overlap. Should be easy to get it approved. All the coal guys hated the intermodal people because they got locomotives and all the, the intermodal people hated the coal people because they got the locomotives. I went to town hall meeting one time. I went to uh, the old headquarters of the GN and NP in uh, St. Paul. And I walked into a theater, downtown theater, and there were probably uh, 400, 500 people because that was the headquarters of the clerical headquarters of the railroads. And these clerks had jobs for life. And there were people with red t-shirts, uh, union t-shirts outside handing out leaflets saying the seven reasons why you should not believe President Krebs. They never met me. They hadn't, I hadn't said a word. The man is a genius. He's right, 94 years old now. Um, I have so much respect for him. He made me understand that my main job was to get people to want to and to help them express and achieve their unique potential for the good of themselves and also for the good of, of, of the institution that we all work for. So we had all the, the, the senior execs who had been to these four sessions and we were hammering out one version that would become what BNSF was. And it was just a mess. I mean, we you know, still had the coal guys bitching about the intermodal guys. And, and uh, I, mean, I remember standing up and saying, I've never seen a company so screwed up in my life. And, but then in the afternoon, the uh, the, the execs came back and we talked about what kind of company do we want? What style? What shared values do we want? Um, what's the mission of the company? And we had a guy from Stanford Business School lead that discussion. So when we got all done, each one of these groups had, this is the style. This is what our shared values are. This is what liberty, equality, community, efficiency mean. And then finally, what are the evidences of success? We ended up with this little book, Vision and Values. So I go in there, we have this knockdown, drag out meeting. I held this thing up and said, how many of you people have seen this? I got a few hands. I said, you better read it because it is the Declaration of Independence. It is the Constitution. And it is the Bill of Rights of this company. And if you ever want to know why we do something, it's all right here. It was always kind of under the radar because it was just the old railroads. You know, it was, it was, but it was, I mean, the stuff we did was 
just as significant as a lot of things that got a lot of publicity and this was just kind of went on, this just happened. And the end result was gratifying, good for the country. I was right in the middle of a transformation of a dying industry into one that was the envy of every country in the world. Right. And I was right there in the middle of it.